At 145 years old, a church building crumbled Saturday morning, leaving church leaders with nothing. Good Monday evening. I'm Tyler Lopez. Thanks for joining us. For any church or business, that could wipe them out, but that is not the plan for United Fellowship Ministries. Sam Athene has a live look now at what's left and what's next. Sam. Senior Pastor Greg Washington says that people were planning to be here Saturday morning for early morning prayer. But when they arrived, they were shocked. But at the same time, they were so fortunate and glad that they weren't here before all this rubble unfolded and the building collapsed behind me. And that building that collapsed an hour before the prayer group arrived, around a dozen were expected, including the pastor. City leaders say they don't know what caused the collapse. They think it may have come from the back of the building. And a spokesman says there is no regulation for how often inspections are done. Now, since it happened, Pastor Washington has received over 200 calls from churches and other people who offered their support and says he can't lose faith in this community. We ain't quitting. We're not giving up. I'm trying to keep my members. Don't get discouraged. Just stay positive and let's keep moving forward. Peoria, I feel the compassion, the love, the sympathy. The estimated damage is around one and a half million dollars. Now, Washington plans to keep his church connected through services outside, despite having a place to sit inside. And uh, Pastor Washington says they will hold those services and try and keep the group connected. They are arranging to hold their services in the next door building, but plans are not yet finalized. Now, Washington says that those wanting to help can visit their website or join them 1030 a.m. in the parking lot here. We'll keep you updated as we find out more information about all of this. We'll have continued coverage at 536 and with Lizzie Siles at 10. For now, in Peoria, Sam Athene, 25 News.